Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I go live every Tuesday morning at 8.30 Arizona time to bring you a fun project using Stampin' Up! products. So today I am going to be using Stampin' Up's Sweet Strawberry Bundle. It seems appropriate because I think it's um, strawberry season in many parts of the country. And it's just, um, it's just a really fun bundle that's uh, still available in Stampin' Up's annual catalog. So let me, um, good morning Janice, thanks for popping in today. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you are. I know um, a lot of the country is really, really hot. I, I think it's supposed to be 118 or something like that today. So um, you'll find me inside stamping and thinking of cool projects. Good morning, Christine. Thanks for popping in. I'm going to be using Stampin' Up! Sweet Strawberry Bundle and I won't waste any more time. I'll get started to show you my project. So give me a moment and I'll move my camera. I gotta have the ceiling fan because that keeps the air moving in this, this hot house. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you um, a really fun and easy gift card holder. Um, and I, I had two different designs. I demonstrated a different design, but this was the one, one of the others. Um, and even though we can always use gift cards and I need to keep this design in my back pocket for the holidays, um, sometimes I just need a card and I don't really need um, the gift card portion of that. So I decided to um, switch that design into a a full size card. So I just changed some of the dimensions um, to, to create this. And this is what I would call a, a simple stamping card. Um, it's a challenge that Stampin' Up! sets out to demonstrators each month where you try to create um, a quick and easy card using just rubber stamps, ink, and paper. And every now and then they'll say, oh, you can use ribbon or you can use a punch. Well, this month it is a punch and so this is a perfect bundle to showcase for that and it goes together really really simply there will be a free tutorial um, on my blog starting tomorrow with all of the measurements um, you'll find the bundle on page 43 of Stampin' Up's annual catalog and the stamp set and the punch when purchased together as a bundle you get a 10% discount. So it's $32 and 25 cents. And the sentiments are all really uh, perfect for what we need. Uh, that's so sweet of you, just for you. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. Hello there, thank you. Almost everything that you would um, need to cover all your sentiments. So if, if you're just getting started rubber stamping or you've been rubber stamping for a long time, this is, um, this would be a good option for you because it's uh, really easy to get started. 90 and humid in Indiana, oh my goodness. Well, that's the thing, we don't have a lot of humidity here, but I think the heat just makes up for it. Um, the, the paper, the designer series paper I've been using is coming from, it's called the Pattern Party 12 by 12 designer series paper and it is actually a host reward that you'll find in the back of the catalog um, so um, it's something you can earn free and oh my goodness it's 48 sheets of awesome designer series paper um, you can earn it it's 18 18 dollars um, with um, stamp and rewards good morning sandy thanks for popping in but what i like are the colorful sheets are on top and then on the one side and then there are black and white pieces on the other sides. So I've been really using up all my black and white pieces um, as well as the um, others. So it's really a fun package of paper that's really versatile. So contact me if you want to learn how, um, how you can earn this. I'm just kind of paging through some of the 
sheets that you might see lots of um, lots of different designs so that's what I'll be using for today's card goes together pretty easily um, let's just leave that there and I will give you the so I'm starting with the real red card base then I have a five and a quarter by four whisper white for the inside the next layer is um, measures four and three quarters by three and a quarter again I'll have a free tutorial on my blog tomorrow so you'll be able to see all the dimensions another real red piece at three inches by four and a half this is the designer series piece I chose. You can see there was another one for that other card as well. So that piece is two and three quarters uh, by four and a quarter. Then I have um, for the sentiment, that's one inch by two and a quarter. I have a scrap for the strawberry and a scrap for the strawberries um, stem. And I'll also be using some of the red rhinestone jewels. Good morning, Linda, thanks for popping in. So let's just, it's basic, um, I'm gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus and put some pieces together and then we'll do some stamping. Um, uh, the wheat strawberry, or the Strawberry Builder Punch has had been really popular when it first came out and it had been on back order for a while. So now it's available and um, just really now starting to get, um, to get my use out of it. And then these layers just simply go together. So I'm going to put my real red on top of the, and I also tried, I was, can you believe this? I was out of real red cardstock. I had to borrow some. And I'm like, I was, I did not have a full piece to my name. And so I, a Poppy Parade works really well with this too. And Cherry Cobbler might as well. So I'm going to put the uh, real red on top of that. And then the designer series piece up here. Um, sometimes it's the white I run out of, but I couldn't believe that I was out of the real red. And um, with our new holiday catalog coming up, I'm going to need a lot of red. I use that a lot in the holiday cards. And then that just, um, that piece, I'll center it on the front and then we will do some um, stamping with that. But although, don't the little dots remind you of the dots um, in, the, um, in the strawberry? All right, okay, so now it's, see that's just how simply that goes together. All right, I'm gonna bring in my stamp and pierce mat. Uh, it's always a, a fun, a great thing to use when you are uh, working with the photopolymer stamps. Photopolymer, me, photopolymer means they are totally see-through and clear. So let's start with the sentiment and what's the sentiments, um, uh, you can use any of them just for you in case it's not a birthday, in case it's something else. A thank you. Hello there. Hello there covers a little bit of everything. So uh, whatever works. Uh, I always need birthday cards. Um, so I'm going to ink my stamp just to tap, tap, tap in the real red ink and find the center of that and just press down evenly and firmly as the ink kind of presses into that little teeny piece of cardstock. And the mat just helps you get a really good impression. So there we are with that. Then I do have a scrap of Whisper White or Basic White. And it's a little, it's a little bigger than I maybe need, but what I like to do, good morning, Brenda, thanks for popping in. What I like to do is have enough of the cardstock where when I put it in the punch, I have a handle, something to hang on to, and then I can always turn it around and use the other other side when I'm wanting to punch. I'm also looking at the way the, um, the, the strawberry punches out and I wanna be sure to stamp 
that way on the paper to make it much easier to punch when it comes time for that. Good morning, Linda. Thanks for watching and sharing. I appreciate that. All right, so I have the outline of the strawberry. This is also a two-step stamp set where it can take two steps to create your image. Um, so I'm going to just put him, my strawberry. I don't know why it's a him, but he. I'm going to put the strawberry right here. Good impression there. Nice, fresh, memento black ink. Need to find the cover. And then we will... Um, Take the um, strawberry piece and put some real red ink on there. Get it inked up really well. Sometimes it's hard to see what kind of ink we have on there with the photopolymer. And, and just hover right over the top and give that a good, a good inking, letting it again sink into the cardstock. Um, you know, I like that, but I think I would like a little bit more color. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. I want a really ripe strawberry so I can add um, some on top of that. So we're ready to go with that strawberry there. And I, you can see how I can just put that into my punch. I am going to punch out the... Um, a leaf, an extra leaf, but that's all right. So I have my strawberry, and then I would be able to um, make another one on that little scrap. All right, so that strawberry needs a stem, and for this I'm just using that stem from the set along with my memento ink. And again, I'm just going to look on my punch, you know, where is that stem and how best to punch it, giving myself a little bit of, you know, extra handle, um, to manage that punch. Thanks, Deb, for popping in today. Good to see you. Hot in Minnesota, too, I would imagine. Hot everywhere. Did see it was raining in Florida somewhere, so good for them. We haven't seen rain, and I don't know when. All right, so there is our stem, and I've eyed that up so I know exactly where to punch it so it's easiest. You know, if you don't have a big enough piece of cardstock, you can always attach a sticky note um, to help you grab that a little bit more. So I'm gonna punch that. And we have the strawberry. All right. And you could also put a little bit of Wink of Stella on that strawberry too. Um, and I need a glue dot. I'm just going to take a glue dot and attach it to the back of my little stem and make that into the strawberry. Okay. So again, a, a, a simple stamping card, something that goes together really fast. Good morning, Candace. Thanks for popping in. That you can put together um, really quickly when you... You know, you look on the calendar and it's like, oh, that was a birthday. Or when you see Facebook, it was somebody's birthday yesterday and you should have gotten a card in the mail. But any time is a good time for a card. So I'm just putting some glue dots on the back of my sentiment. Going to find uh, a spot in the middle for it. Looks like I'm all crooked this morning. And just place that here. And then I'm gonna put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of my strawberry. You know, sometimes you just have to have a quick and easy card. It's really nice to be able to make something beautiful with all of our supplies because we certainly have them, but sometimes it's also nice to be able to just, um, this is also if you wanted to have a friend over to stamp, this is something that, um, they would uh, step back and go, wow, I actually made that all by myself. Um, super pretty. All right, the last thing I'm going to add are these red rhinestones, and um, I'm stocking up on these for the holidays. Um, holiday cards, these make just a nice little addition. I'll put three on there, and I really think that the rhinestones really add to, um, to the look of that card. So now you're ready to send that out. Um, I was just going to show you a reminder. This is 
how this card came from the gift card holder that I showed a few weeks ago. And, um, and I decided well, I don't always need a gift card holder. So anyway, that's my simple stamping project for today. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, for popping in. And if you aren't able to watch me live, uh, I'd love it if you watch the replay. You can find me online at kimplayswithpaper.com. And I'm here every Tuesday at 8.30 with another stamping project. And I'm excited about next week's showing some more new product from Stampin' Up's annual catalog. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks for popping in and for commenting. Uh, everyone have a great day and a great week. And stay cool wherever you are. Enjoy. Thanks for popping in. Bye-bye.